Hey guys, it's Steve, and welcome to a quick tip Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing off a new modifier in Blender 2.7. So uh, if you don't have Blender 2.7 yet, go download it so you can try this out. Um, now, this modifier is called the Wireframe Modifier. And it basically takes your mesh meshes typology, I think typology, yeah, um, and makes a small triangular model around it. So you can see, like, I have a box here. Uh, and if I add modifier wireframe, it, uh, it completely makes the wireframe the mesh by making these triangular shapes around the modifier, uh, I mean, around the model, which is really cool. Um, and you got a handful of settings here. Right now I have it to uh, replace original, but if you uncheck that, you'll have your original box and then just the model uh, layered on top of that. You can change the uh, thickness of the the mesh, and you can see it gets you know thicker. Um, you can change. You can use a, uh, a vertex group, which is really cool. This is for if you want to assign just like okay, say so I just want this portion of the mesh to be uh, wireframe. I'll just go add a new uh, vertex group and assign like this uh, the square to it. Now going to my modifier, if I select that group, you can see it is just over here going down to nothing over here. So that is really cool as well. Uh, you got an offset feature, which is you know similar to the size, but I guess it, uh, if you make it thicker and then change the offset, you can get it coming up more like that, which is kind of cool. Um, just for a little bit of tweaking. Um, crease edges, this is uh, not quite sure what this does. But, um, does it, yeah, it doesn't, I don't, I'm not quite sure of the function of that. Um, increase hub edges for improved subsurf. Ah, so maybe if I have a subsurf modifier, this will, okay, yeah, see, this is the, basically the crease of your model. Cool, very cool. This is something I just learned. You learn this with me, guys. Uh, very cool. Um, then we have relative thickness which just, I guess, makes it relative to the square thickness-wise. Boundary, which uh, doesn't seem to do too much. Sports face boundaries, okay. And then we have replace original, which I already showed you. And then the last thing is material offset, which is really cool if we... Let me uh, turn that back on. If we have a material for our block, and say this is kind of a... We'll just go blue material for our box. Then we make another material, and say this one is red, and red right here. Yeah, that's kind of pink. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So we have red. We can go replace uh, material offset, go to number two, and then our boundary has a new material uh, using the second material, which is really cool. Lots of uses for something like this. So last week I was playing around with this, and I was thinking, hmm, what can you do with a modifier like this? And where there's a handful of things you can do, you know, say rendering a mesh with a wireframe visible, or maybe maybe uh, doing it in two different layers and combining them in the compositor to have some cool effects like that, you know, for breakdowns and whatnot. A handful of things you can do that ways, but in like modeling ways, what can you do? And being a Spider-Man fan, immediately I thought this would be perfect for layering the webbing on Spider-Man. So um, I had modeled this... Uh, model. It's it's kind of a rough model, but uh, just for a fun exercise last week, and I wanted to try the wireframe modifier on it. So basically, what I did is I selected my model and added. Let me just turn this turn this down a little bit. Added the wireframe modifier, and you can see that uh, it adds all that. Um, and what I did to add the webbing on is actually hang on. I'm just gonna delete this. Is I duplicated my Spidey, okay? And then I just like hid the original. So I have two Spidey models now. And I made this one just a one subdivision in my uh, multi-res modifier. Added a wireframe modifier, and you can see it follows my typology, my typology, and <laughs> adds the wireframe to it. So I just kind of tweaked the thickness a little bit. I used replace original, and I applied the multi-res, and then I applied this. And then, because my, let me, if I unhide my other model, because I already have two materials assigned to this, 
blue and red, you know, as you can see, um, it worked perfect for deleting out the blue areas where you don't want the webbing. So what I could just do then is tab into edit mode, go select all the blue areas, and you can see it selects everything that I had assigned blue and a little bit of the red, but a simple fix is just control minus, and it uh, scales down your selection one uh, face. So I just did that, and I just did X delete faces. And you can see I have my webbing like that, and if you just remove these two modifiers down to whatever sort of material you want to create for the webbing, unhide your other one, and voila, we have a really sweet webbing mapped across our model. And I mean, can you imagine how time consuming it would be if you wanted to try and model some typology like this? And you can see where it might be off a little bit because it's only a one subsurf instead of a two subsurf like our model. And for this, I just came back with the uh, proportional editing enabled and would just kind of tweak it where it, you know, benefited it like so. And then you can also, you know, add some uh, cuts here and stuff if you want to add a little more detail like that. But very, very cool. I like this new modifier. And I can see a handful of uses for it. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tip on Blender 2.7's wireframe modifier. Uh, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my uh, next Blender video.